This video will demonstrate the synthesis of silicon nanocrystals in a typical plasma reactor used by University of Minnesota researchers in the lab of Professor Uwe Kortzagen. You are currently seeing argon gas flowing from the top of the screen down through an evacuated glass tube and out to a pump. When radio frequency power is applied to the copper ring electrodes, the argon gas is excited and partially ionized. This is a plasma. The glow you are seeing is the characteristic light emission of argon atoms as they relax from those excited states. We match the impedance of the power source to ensure maximum power input into the plasma. Now we have a very reactive environment in which we can do chemistry. When a reactive gas is introduced, in this case silane, the gas molecules are broken down and reassembled in nanocrystals. You can actually see the plasma change as a result of this process. An interesting final note is that while silica needs roughly 2600 degrees Fahrenheit to crystallize, we're able to achieve this and react to the remains at temperatures that will not burn my hand. This is because it's the electrons that are hot and not the gas. Really, this is what's driving the chemistry.